kids. Today, we are starting an exciting journey through our solar system. In the middle stands the sun, a gigantic, glowing ball of fire that gives us light and warmth. Without it, life on Earth would not exist. Its gravity keeps all planets and moons in their orbits. Our own moon accompanies the Earth and shows us its bright face. It causes the tides on Earth and is therefore our most important neighbor in space. But our solar system has much more to offer. There are eight major planets that differ greatly in size, color, temperature, and distance from the sun. Some are made of solid rock like Earth, while others are huge gas or ice giants. Each planet has its own secrets, from blazing heat to giant volcanoes to icy storms. We'll also take a look at Pluto, which used to be called the ninth planet, but today is only classified as a dwarf planet. At the very end, I'll give you a little trick to easily remember the correct order of the planets. So fasten your seatbelts! We're taking off on a journey through our solar system! Our journey begins with the sun, the heart of our solar system. The sun is not a planet, but a star, a gigantic glowing ball of gas. Its diameter is about 1.4 million kilometers. The circumference, once all the way around, is about 4.37 million kilometers. If you flew around the sun in an airplane, it would take you more than 20 years. The sun is so big that Earth could fit inside it 1.3 million times. Incredible, isn't it? On its surface, the temperature is about 5,500 degrees, while inside, it reaches over 15 million degrees. Without the warmth and light of the sun, there would be no life on Earth. It is our most important source of energy for plants, animals, and humans. From the sun, we fly to the first planet, tiny, hot Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system, only about 4,880 kilometers in diameter. It is the closest to the sun and needs only 88 days to go around it. But one day on Mercury lasts extremely long, 59 Earth days. Because it has no real atmosphere, Temperatures vary extremely, up to plus 430 degrees during the day, down to minus 180 degrees at night. Its surface is full of craters, very similar to our moon. Mercury has no moons and no rings. Because of its closeness to the sun, it is hard to see with the naked eye, usually only shortly before sunrise or after sunset. After visiting Mercury, we continue to its neighbor, Venus, a planet full of heat and thick clouds. Venus is almost the same size as Earth, about 12,100 kilometers in diameter. It is our neighboring planet and also the hottest planet in the solar system. On average, 465 degrees. On Venus, the air pressure is 90 times stronger than on Earth, like being 900 meters deep in the ocean. It even rains sulfuric acid there, which makes it completely uninhabitable. Very strange. Venus rotates backwards, so the sun rises in the west. It has no moons, but shines brightly in the sky as the morning star or evening star. From glowing Venus, we travel on to our home planet, Earth. 
Here we find water, air, and life. Earth is the only known planet with life. Its diameter is 12,742 kilometers, and it lies 150 million kilometers from the sun. About 70% of its surface is covered with water, which makes life possibility. Earth has a protective atmosphere that shields us from harmful radiation. It rotates once around its axis in 24 hours and takes 365 days to orbit the sun. Inside, Earth has a hot core made of iron and nickel. Its single moon controls the tides and makes sure the seas are always in motion. This is useful because it creates habitats for animals, distributes food, and even allows humans to generate energy from tidal power. From our home planet, we continue on to the red planet. Mars. Mars is called the red planet because iron oxide in its soil makes it look rusty red. With a diameter of 6,780 kilometers, it is only half the size of Earth. It is about 228 million kilometers from the sun. The average temperature is minus 60 degrees and even colder at the poles. Mars has the largest volcano in the solar system. Olympus Mons, nearly 27 kilometers tall, three times the height of Mount Everest. It also has the gigantic canyon Valles Marineris, which is 10 times longer than the Grand Canyon. Mars has two tiny moons, Phobos and Deimos. Long ago, rivers flowed here, and today there is still frozen water at the poles. That's why scientists dream that humans could one day live on Mars. Beyond Mars begins the realm of the gas giants. Our next stop is the biggest planet of all, mighty Jupiter. Jupiter is the giant of the solar system. With a diameter of 142,000 kilometers, Earth could fit inside it more than 1,300 times. It is 778 million kilometers from the sun and made mostly of gas. A day on Jupiter lasts only 10 hours, while a year takes almost 12 Earth years. In its atmosphere rages the Great Red Spot, a gigantic storm larger than Earth that has been active for centuries. Jupiter has more than 90 moons. The largest, Ganymede, is even bigger than Mercury. It also has faint rings, which are hard to see from Earth. Jupiter acts like a cosmic protector because its gravity diverts many asteroids that might otherwise hit Earth. From Jupiter, our journey continues to the planet famous for its beautiful rings, Saturn. Saturn is the second largest planet about 120,500 kilometers in diameter and famous for its spectacular rings. These rings consist of billions of pieces of ice and rock orbiting the planet. Saturn is a gas giant and lies 1.4 billion kilometers from the sun. A day there lasts only 10.5 hours, while a year equals 29 Earth years. Saturn has more than 140 moons, the largest being Titan. On Titan, there are rivers and lakes, not of water, but of liquid methane. Saturn is very light. If you could put it into a giant bathtub, it would float. We leave Saturn's sparkling rings behind and travel deeper into space. Next awaits Uranus. Uranus is an ice giant about 51,000 kilometers in diameter. It is almost 3 billion kilometers from the sun with temperatures down to minus 224 degrees. It is the coldest planet. 
what's special, Uranus rolls around the sun on its side as its axis is tilted 98 degrees. This makes its seasons last for decades. One year on Uranus is 84 Earth years, while a day lasts only 17 hours. Its bluish-green color comes from methane gas in the atmosphere. Uranus has 27 moons and thin rings. From Uranus, we travel even farther to stormy Neptune. Neptune is the outermost planet in the solar system, about 49,200 kilometers in diameter and 4.5 billion kilometers from the sun. Its blue color also comes from methane. It is famous for extreme storms. Winds blow at over 2,000 thousand kilometers per hour, the fastest in the entire solar system. A day there lasts 16 hours, and a year takes an incredible 165 Earth years. Neptune has 14 moons, the largest is Triton, which orbits the planet backwards. Neptune was discovered in the year 1846. But our journey doesn't end here. At the very edge of the solar system, we find Pluto, a small, icy dwarf planet. Pluto was discovered in 1930 and was long considered the ninth planet, with a diameter of only 2,377 kilometers. It is even smaller than our moon. In 2006, scientists reclassified Pluto as a dwarf planet. Today, we officially count eight planets, but many people still love Pluto as the little ninth. Pluto is about 5.9 billion kilometers from the sun and takes 248 years to complete one orbit. It has five moons, the largest called Charon. After this detour to the edge of the solar system, we return home to Earth's faithful companion, the Moon. The Moon is about one quarter the size of Earth, around 3,474 kilometers in diameter. It takes about 27 days to orbit Earth. Its surface is full of craters created by meteorite impacts since it has no protective atmosphere. Its gravity causes the tides on Earth. Very fascinating, we always see the same side of the Moon from Earth because it rotates at the same speed it orbits. The moon is our constant companion in the night sky. In 1969, humans walked on the moon for the first time. Do you think the moon shines by itself? If yes, then you're mistaken. The moon is like a mirror in space. It has no light of its own, but reflects the sunlight. That's why it glows so brightly at night. With that, we have visited all the planets, the sun, and also the moon. But our solar system is only a tiny dot in the Milky Way, a huge galaxy full of stars. The Milky Way is a gigantic galaxy where our solar system, with its planets, is located. You can imagine it like a huge city full of stars. The Milky Way has over 100 billion stars. When we see a bright milky band in the night sky, we are looking right into the Milky Way. It has the shape of a large spiral. To fly across it in an airplane would take about 120 billion years. What an unbelievable number! This shows how enormous our universe really is, because the Milky Way, with its 100 billion stars, is only one of more than 2 trillion galaxies in the universe. As promised, here's a memory sentence, a mnemonic, to help you remember the order of the planets. My very educated mother just served us noodles. 
Each word's first letter stands for the beginning letter of a planet. Maybe you're wondering why the sun and the moon are not in the sentence. Here's the reason. The sun is not a planet, but a star. It is the center of our solar system and gives the planets light and warmth. The moon is also not a planet or a star, but Earth's companion, called a satellite. The sentence only includes planets, but of course, sun and moon are very important parts of our solar system. That was our exciting journey through the solar system. Until the next adventure, see you soon! Dear kids, thank you for watching until the end. That really motivates us to make many more cool and kid-friendly videos for you. Feel free to check out our other videos. There's still so much to discover. See you next time.